How are you organizing your crypto? Probably not as well as you should be. Well, that's why we just launched multiple wallets, which allows you to create up to five segregated wallets inside of your Zenga wallet. And as you know, with over 1 million customers and around for over five years, Zengo has zero hacks, which means that these features are only going to increase the security, organization, and privacy that you can gain from your Zengo account. As you can see here on my left, which is also replicated, this is the my Zengo marketing phone. You can see right now I've got my main wallet, but I can also open up all of the other wallets that I've already created. I have ones for hodling for DeFi, for payments, and for Web3 minting or for delegating. I'll explain all of that in a little bit. But today, over the next few minutes, I want to explain one, why do we create multiple wallets? Two, what is multiple wallets? And three, how do you use multiple wallets to take full advantage of this feature so you can continue to level up your crypto game? Let's get into it. Number one, so why do we create multiple wallets? Well, did you know that in the first half of 2024 alone in the last six months over 300 million dollars of DeFi assets and nfts have already been stolen in web3 because of signatures that people signed and they simply didn't understand and they got their wallets drained well this is not acceptable that's by the way according to scam sniffer a security browser extension that puts out some great content and information on this when you have segregated wallets and you can separate high value NFTs, uh, high value DeFi assets from day to day payments or your minting wallets, then you can ensure that the stuff that you want to keep and secure for the long term won't be impacted by things you're doing in Web3 on a daily basis. Multiple wallets allows for you to do just that. Number two, so what is multiple wallets? Well, it's just that you can create up to five segregated isolated wallets inside of your Zengo account based on use case. Name it, what, name them whatever you want to. Use them however you want to. When you create a new wallet too, it's kind of like you're starting from scratch, right? It's not connected to Web3. There are no approvals connected to that wallet either. So for example, I'm going to post in the video below a tutorial of how we created a new wallet. We moved our little pudgy to that wallet and then using delegate.xyz we created a hot wallet um, that then was used to connect to discord to collab land and to engage in the ecosystem this way we'll know that that little pudgy will always be safe no matter what i'm connecting to in web3 you can do the same thing for your NFTs, for ENS addresses, so you have a new private wallet that's disconnected from wherever you're storing your higher value assets. Number three, so how to use multiple wallets? It's really simple. Just go into your Zengo account. If you have Zengo Pro, you can already start using it immediately. If you don't have Zengo Pro, you can actually try Zengo Pro for free and test out multiple wallets, create some wallets, put some assets in there, see what it's like to move things between the wallets um, and to better segregate your assets based on their use cases. So get started today. Make sure to stay secure out there. And as always, stay Zen.